the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. A 225, 1 Chronicles 6-9, Lecture 3 in Chronicles Hope. The many genealogies recorded was evidence that God had worked with them and at the same time a way for South Judah to restore their pride. First point, as is said by Jacob, the tribe of Levi became appointed as priests and they lived scattered among the other tribes. Chronicles chapters 1 to 9 is entirely genealogy. Thus, it is difficult to know where to underline. But if we think about it, every single word is worthy of underlining, as each name and word was God's history and God's work. Chapters 4 to 8, in particular, record the genealogy according to each tribe. Chapters 4 to 5 focuses on the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, and also the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, who took the land east to the Jordan. Chapter 6 focuses on the tribe of Levi and their actions. The tribe of Levi produced the Kohathites. Simeon and Levi are brothers. Their swords are weapons of violence. Let me not enter their council. Let me not join their assembly. For they have killed men in their anger, and hamstrung oxen as they pleased. Cursed be their anger, so fierce and their fury so cruel. I will scatter them in Jacob and disperse them in Israel. According to Jacob's will regarding Levi, his descendants became scattered among the twelve tribes of Israel in order to become priests. Although God did not give them land, God gave them the mission of priesthood. After the tribe of Levi became appointed as the priestess, the Kohathites produced Aaron and his sons and other high priestess from then on. But with the Babylon Empire burning down the temple, the role of the priestess came to a temporary close. This summarizes the tribe of Levi. The sons of Levi, Goshen, Koath, and Merari. These are the names of the sons of Goshen, Limni, and Shimei. The sons of Koaz, Amram, Iza, Hebron, and Uziel. The sons of Merari, Mali, and Mushi. These are the clans of the Levites listed according to their fathers. Second point. During the days of David, a choir was formed to sing God's praises. During the days of David, the first ever choir was established with the purpose of singing God's praises. When the ark became moved to the temple, the role of the Kohathites and the other members of the Levi tribe whose jobs were to help move the ark was no longer necessary. Therefore, they were given a new role to sing in the choir. As such, a choir was established for the temple, and the high priestess carried out the entire job for the most holy place. Chronicles 6 verses 1 to 15 records the genealogy of the high priestess, starting with Aaron through to the times of David. God had enabled the priestess to live through the tithe of the Israelites and also through looking after the cities of refugee and the 48 boroughs in the kingdom of priests. The towns of the Levites in the territory held by the Israelites were 48 in all, together with their pasture lands. Each of these towns had pasture lands surrounding it. This was true for all these towns. Third point. The tribes of Dan and Zebulun became excluded in the record of the west of the Jordan. Chronicles chapter 7 
recorded the genealogy of tribes of Issachar, Benjamin, Naphtali, Manasseh, and Ephraim. But the tribes of Dan and Zebulun were not included, and this was because they were likely the first of the tribes to start idol worship. This was the record of Jacob's blessing on the tribe of Issachar. Issachar is a low-boned donkey, lying down among the sheep pens. When he sees how good is his lasting place and how pleasant is his land, he will bend his shoulder to the burden and submit to forced labor. This was the record of Jacob's blessing and the tribe of Benjamin. Benjamin is a lavish wolf. In the morning, he devours the prey. In the evening, he divides the plunder. This was the record of Jacob's blessing and the tribe of Naphtali. Naphtali is a doe set free that bears beautiful forms. Jacob's blessing and Manasseh and Ephraim can be found in Genesis 48 verses 19 to 20 and 22 to 26. And this was the record of Jacob's blessing and the tribe of Asher. Asher's food will be rich. He will provide delicacies fit for a king. First point, after Israel became divided into north and south, the tribe of Benjamin was recorded again. The genealogy and the actions of the tribes of Benjamin and Judah can be seen as part one. In 1 Chronicles 4 to 5, but the tribe of Benjamin reappears as part two in 1 Chronicles 6 to 9. The tribe of Benjamin produced the first king of Israel, Saul. After the death of Solomon, the country became divided into two with the ten tribes, forming North Israel and the two tribes, Benjamin and Judah, forming South Judah. The tribes of Judah and Benjamin showed a close bond. This had its roots to when Judah put his life on the line to save Benjamin in Egypt. Later on, David from the tribe of Judah and Jonathan from the tribe of Benjamin showed a close bond, and even when the country became divided, the tribes of Benjamin and Judah stuck together. Moreover, with Jesus from the tribe of Judah and Paul from the tribe of Benjamin, we can see how their bond continued throughout. The tribe of Benjamin also led the return of captives from Babylon. Fifth point, after the return of the Babylon captivity, the good facts were recorded. One chronicles which started with Adam and ran through the history of a kingdom of priests closes by giving hope to the people of South Judah who returned from Babylon captivity. In particular, we can see God's salt covenant in Numbers chapter 18, becoming fulfilled. The tribe of Levi was able to learn about their role and their importance in a kingdom of priests. As such, the 70 years in Babylon gave the people time to reflect and to educate themselves and to start fresh in Jerusalem. The priests returned, the Levites returned, the technicians and choir members from the tribe of Levi also returned, the workers in the Jerusalem temple also returned. As they worked for the temple, they were excused from paying tax. This was what the Persian king said to Ezra, you are also to know that you have no authority to impose taxes, tribute or duty on any of the priests, Levites, musicians, gatekeepers, temple servants, or other workers at this house of God. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And 
He has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.